What's up guys, Brandon here with another video. This one is long overdue. I try to do this uh, once a year, and I know I've gotten a few comments on when I'm doing it, but this is going to be my autograph collection review. And we may or may not be three months into 2022, and I know this video should have came out at the end of December 2021. I was waiting for a few autographs to come in. I had half an order come in and half I was waiting on. So yes, it's late, but better late than never. So I guess you can basically title this video a pre-Star Wars celebration collection review. So without further, further ado, let's get right into it. Now I did upgrade from my 2020 review video i got more itoya art portfolio and i divided them up like prequel era second uh, folder we're gonna look at is gonna have like the middle rebels and the original trilogy i think man mandalorians in this one too it might be in this one let me try Yep. Okay. Mandalorian is in the last one, and that's gonna finish off in this one. Our third eight and a half by eleven. So these are our eight by ten photos. It's gonna end off with the sequel trilogy, and then I also have an eleven by fourteen that has all of my eleven by fourteen in there, and then we got a few other like I got one magazine and art print that we'll look at the, at the very last. So just starting off. I actually have here two on-card autographs that I don't think I covered in my 2020 review video. But first off, we have Tim Ross as Admiral Akbar. This is a six out of seven on-card from the Topps Archive Signature Collection. This is from 2018. I think I opened this in like, I don't know, 2020 or something like that, maybe 2019 and i also have paul casey this is a last jedi on card autograph from the same series this is 32 out of 85 from the archives 2018 so just two card autographs right now i might have one or two more somewhere i think I got them ready to send off the PSA eventually, so those are bubble wrapped and everything. But let's get into the photo autographs. Starting off in the prequel trilogy, we got dual signed Ian McDermott and Ray Park, Master and Apprentice. Let's see if I can. That's a little better. A little fish fish eye lens, but make it work. So a lot of these, a lot of the ones we're going to see today, I already went over in my 2020 review. A lot are from the 2019 Chicago celebration. That's why you'll see the, this is the Star Wars autograph or sorry, Star Wars Authentics from Topps. Authenticity right there. So a lot of them are going to have that. Unfortunately, Topps is no longer the official license for photographs and all that. Next is Ray Park, another Ray Park from Topps Authentic. This one I pulled in a blind blind box back in spring of 2020, I think maybe. And then this one is an art print. Well, it's a canvas, Ray Park. This one was at Celebration. This was when the uh, trilogy one through six came out on Blu-ray. I think it was Target had these art prints there were six of them one for each episode these are actually the arts of the sleeves that each disc came in the blu-ray so ray park on that one adam best as jar jar his first celebration was chicago hopefully he'll be coming back for 2022 jake lloyd on a 30th anniversary print. This one I got off of eBay. 
Beckett witnessed a master pick. This is an uh, official pick from 2007. Next up, we got Daniel Logan. We're on to uh, episode two, Attack of the Clone autographs now. And then we also got, I got little cheat sheets here of names, so I don't mispronounce them, but this is Leanne Walsman. Next up, Ewan McGregor. This was an official picks. Um, send in. That they did maybe 2021, 2020. I don't remember. But to go along with him, we got Hayden and that green paint pen. Love the paint pen. I wish I uh, opted in for a blue for Ewan. But still. Awesome duo right there. Well, again, we got Brody Taylor as the clone face, the younger middle age clone between Daniel Logan and Tamara Morrison. Got another new one, Natalie Portman. SWAU, the first private signing from Natalie. We have quite a few of these to look over. These are new in my collection. These are the ones I was waiting for in January to arrive before I could do a review video. But this is an 8x10 of Natalie on Naboo in gold paint. Next up. Actually, I have, for some reason, I put her in the back, but I have another Natalie on Geonosis to go with the Hayden one. Now, I am a little disappointed that it's a blue Sharpie. Um, you know, you can see it. It's on white. It's not horrible. But again, you know, I, I, I do love the paint pens. I think a blue paint pen would have been a lot better. But you live, you learn. Same with the uh, Ulan. You know, it all, all looks good. Just could improve a little bit, you know. Next up, we're in the Clone Wars. James Arnold Taylor, Obi-Wan. Glare of the light. Inscribed with Obi-Wan on it. To go along with him, we got Matt Lanter, Anakin slash Vader. Love that one with Vader's silhouette in the background. We'll get a glare of the light. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, Ashley Eckstein Ahsoka. I wanted to get her in um, Chicago, but she sold out. So hopefully she's at Anaheim this year. Definitely pick her up. I know her price is doubled, if not tripled already. Next up, we got Catherine Tabor as Padme and Dee Bradley as Rex plus clones these are both chicago 2019 celebration exclusive photos again these are tops authentics so you won't be finding any of these for sale next up we got tom kane as yoda with the quote do or do not there is no try that's from season six of the Clone Wars. We also got Tim Curry as Emperor Palpatine. Or I guess it's, I guess it's Darth Sidious during this time frame. His uh, official picks, private signing. Of course, uh, Tim Curry took over after the original voice actor uh, sadly passed away. He took over the role. I think it was maybe season five. He took over as uh, Palpatine. Now we're into Revenge of the Sith, Ian McDermott as uh, Chancellor Palpatine, I guess Darth Sidious now at this point. Yeah, General Grievous, um, Matthew Wood, 
Sorry, blinking on names. With the quote, crush them. And he writes uh, the year. Um, I think all of his signings, he does the year. So 2019. Again, another celebration autograph. Then we're into the duo. Hayden Christensen. And Ewan McGregor. Yep, sorry. Ewan McGregor. Like that shot. The background on the Separatist ship. This is another official picks I got from the episode 2 autograph I have of him that we saw earlier. But hopefully we'll be getting the duo coming to celebration, maybe? Got the Obi-Wan Kenobi series coming out the day before celebration. So one can hope. Again, this is another one. I got Hayden before uh, Paint Pen was, you know, in my thought. So silver looks looks pretty good. It kind of blends in with the floor and the wall. Um, it's not horrible. Other than over here and silver over the body, you know, that looks great. Matching the saber now that I know more would have been a lot better in my opinion. But nevertheless, both awesome and recognizable autographs. Next up, I think this is the last... Revenge of the Sith autograph for the last autograph in this uh, book. We got the paddle one. Sora's Bandim. And blanking on the name, but I have it written here somewhere. Ross Beadman. Forgive me on that one. This was a. Uh, he has a website. You can get, I think, this photo and maybe a closer up photo. But he does the whole quote, the name, pretty good, pretty good quality photo from him. Ships from the UK it was pretty fast. It was like uh, five days. So look him up. If you're looking to add a paddle one to your collection, he's a good one to start at. All right, that wraps up prequel trilogy. Now we're going into starting off. In the Age of the Empire, in Rebels, Taylor Gray, Ezra. This one I love. Got the wolf in the background, green saber. Again, with the paint pen, I chose gold at the time of celebration, but green I think would have looked a lot better. Like the green we saw on the Hayden on uh, in episode two that I had earlier. But now, I am prepared. All my paint pens, sharpies. I'll be getting another set before we leave for celebration, just to have a fresh, fresh ink um, for that one. Taylor Gray. Next off, Freddie Prince, Kanan Jarrus. Now, I, this this one is a good example of blue sharpie. Perfect, you know. It's nice, bold signing. Clear, you can see it. So that 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 one's that one's good with the sharpie. And blue is the color of his lightsaber. I try to coordinate, or would like to coordinate with the if they have a lightsaber, coordinate with that, if possible. Or skin color. My Kara here, I got her in uh, gold. Vanessa Marshall. Got anything gold, green, I think would have looked pretty good. I got a Rebels poster that I tried to do paint pens in the color of, like, Kanan. I got blue, Ezra's green hair. Oh, I haven't seen it yet, but hopefully they're all colored. Zeb will be purple, hair green. I think I got Sabine and purple. But again, I haven't seen it yet. There was a mix-up with one of the signings. So hopefully we'll get that by the end of this year for the end of this year review. Then the wrap up, we've got Sabine with Tia Sakar. Again, purple. Um, or is that blue? Forget, blue or purple. Paint pen would have maybe looked a little bit better. You kind of 
Sharpie's kind of um, transparent. Like I can see the lines through her signature, which is no big deal. Don't have a Steve Blum for Zeb yet. Hopefully he'll be at Celebration. He was the only cast of from Rebels not at Celebr the, the main five at Celebration 2019. So maybe he'll be in this year. Lars Mikkelsen, Grand Admiral Thrawn. This is silver, good, but I think this was the signing after I got this back when I realized that paint pens was the way to go. I saw uh, SWAU had these up on inventory, and it was a nice, same shade of his uh, skin as a teal blue paint pen, and it looked a lot better than any other Sharpie or metallic Sharpie. But like this one, this is where I learned. David, uh, oh, forgive me for the name pronunciation, but David Oi Loo, forgive me, but Agent Callus got the yellow with the yellow energy right here. So that's what I'm kind of talking about with the color coordinating. So that one looks great. Paint pen, yellow, yellow. It stands out. It's not up here. Not down here. Right along. I would have liked him to not be on the face, but, you know, that's no big deal. <laughs> Next up, I think we're wrapping up. One more Rebel. Stefan Stanton. Ben Kenobi. This one was off of his website. I think he was having a sale. Um, so this one will be a great duel with Sam Witwer over here. The only thing, here we go with the paint pen and the color coordinating. I have seen these signed. Blue, red. Paint pen. It would look a lot better. But silver is perfectly fine. Just got to make sure that Sam matches the same silver. I think it's I think it's even a paint pen. I think I think uh Stefan signed silver paint pen. This is not silver, but this is uh about the same as the deco color liquid gold paint pen extra fine. I'm pretty sure is what he signed it in. And I know I have one here. Yeah, right here. So I think this is what he signed in. Silver. Right there. Liquid silver. But that'll be a good one to complete. Great scene, great episode. Darth Maul over here. Moving on, Battlefront 2, Sam Witwer. This is a 2019 Celebration exclusive image. Great game. Sam is, Sam is a pretty good guy. He's good to talk with. But now we're on to the middle of uh, the original trilogy, or right before we got Solo. Jonas is Chewbacca. Co-pilot. We also got Paul Buttony as Dryden Voss. These two were at Celebration. Paul Buttony was a last-minute uh, book. I wasn't originally going to get him. We were just had downtime one day. I think it was the Friday. And we're like, you know what? Let's just... Let's just get him. He's a good actor. I think it'd be good because his uh, Marvel career is taking off. So who knows if he's going to be at the next celebration, how much he's going to be. But I think he was maybe 75, 80 at 2019 celebration. Then gold. Gold. I don't think red would have looked good. I think gold is a good color to go with. He, they were... The battle on the ship, you know, gold here, gold up here, gold, nunchuck looking spikes. So I think that's a good choice. Silver, probably the only choice for that image. Next up, Sam Witwer and Ray Park. This one's funny. Uh, we got this one at Sim, uh, Sam Witwer first. And he signed nice and big, Sam Whitwer. And then we went to Ray Park, and he actually made a comment and said, could he have left me any more room? Sarcastically, so Ray took the uh, 
upper right hand part, which is pretty good. Uh, I guess Ray, I, I, I think they should have been switched because Ray is the body. Sign across the body. Sam is up here where the voice comes out. But Sam's got a nice, big, bold signature. Good placement. Ray puts in Feel the Force, his signature. Overall, good piece. Next, we got Amelia Clark. This one, I printed off myself and sent this in. I would like to get the whole solo cast to sign these promo photos that they had. These were originally posters. I got them on 8x10. This was a Twin City Comics send-in, I think. This was 2020, I think, maybe 2021. Beckett witnessed. Great, great autograph, great photo. Would love to get um, the rest of the cast to sign with the character's name and all that. Next up, we're into Rogue One, which I think this is my only Rogue One autograph. Alan Tudyk, K2SO. Now I know SWAU had a signing with Felicity, Felicity Jones, and they have some inventory on their website. If you want to check them out, SWAU.com. She's up there. Uh, I am hoping maybe she'll be at Celebration. I know they got the uh, Cassian... Uh, series coming out should be coming out end of this year uh i think k2 is gonna be in it alan tudyk so maybe he'll be at celebration again but he signed in black you know good good pop not that you can see it black on the light yellow background pretty good um I don't, unless she did silver across the body, I think that's good placement, that's good coloring. Happy with that one. Moving on into the original trilogy. Peter Mayhew. This one I already pre-planned to have. I got this off of the top site, mailed to me. I took, I personally took this. A lot of these photos were included with um, the autograph ticket. This one I did bring on my own. I wasn't sure at the time what they would have in photo regards, but I got this one black and white, signed in gold. I think this this photo would have been better with a paint pen, um, but happy to have met Peter before his passing, and overall, a great addition. Next up, Anthony Daniels. This one is a great image. I hope he's back at Celebration again. I want to get him actually in the costume photo. Um, but inscribed C-3PO. This was at away from the autograph center. This was in a whole different hall at Celebration. Waited in line for him. Um, he had a huge selection of photos, but I went with this one. I think this one is a this one is the cover of his book. Um, it says great three PO with him great addition and then this one i picked up this was the last minute um i actually had two peter mayhew autograph tickets i brought the black and white one and i was going to pick another photo at the uh table but we right before right before maybe an hour before we were at a, a different hall at celebration and we come across this artist who has this booklet kind of you know Kind of like this art portfolio, and he's got a bunch of these. Um, and I thought this was a great photo. It's got the Wookiee roar at the bottom. And he, the artist actually signed it. I, we told him, you know, I think I'm going to get Peter to sign this. I think it'd be a great piece to have. And he said, oh, let me, you know, let me, let me sign it. So it, it is, a, it is a, a copy. It's on a nice canvas, or not canvas, but like a, a thick cardstock. So it's got, it's got an original um, autograph of the artist right here. But then it's also, he penciled in his autograph here. So it's double signed. And then it's got Peter. So that's a great piece. Um, Peter's wife was actually at the table and she loved the art. She asked where I got it. And I told her, you know, I'm the artist upstairs and they loved it. Moving on, Billy D from 
Return of the Jedi. I would love, I have a 11 by 14 photo. I, I think it's 11 by 14, maybe it's 8 by 10, but of him in uh, Return of the Jedi, or Rise of Skywalker. And that one, yeah, hopefully he's at Celebration again. Love to get him on that. I also don't have a Empire Strikes Back photo. I try to get a photo from each movie that they're in. You know, if, if you can't, you can't, but that's kind of my hoping. Next we got Warwick Davis, Wicket. Yub nub. And we also got, uh, I'm gonna butcher the name. I got it here. I know it's uh, Iden Versio. This is from Battlefront 2, the campaign. Janina. Gavankar. I'm sorry for how I pronounce names. That one is actually made out to me and Connie. She was very, very nice to me. She was very happy to help us in our time of rushing around to get to where we need to be very quick. She was very nice. Hope she's uh, back for this year. And I think that is the end of the original trilogy. Lastly, of the 8x10s, Mandalorian, Carl Weathers. This is uh, SWAU signing, I believe. This is before they got their SWAU authentic um, logo sticker. This is Beckett Witness. Carl Weathers from season one, last episode. And then we got Carl Weathers again. And we got Gina over here. These are the promo posters of season one. Uh, I think I'm just missing IG-11 and Quill of these ones. Because I, I got the Mando in 11 by 14 we're going to see in a few minutes. But these ones are great. White paint. Next up, we got Warner. Um, last name. I got it right here. Warner Herzog. As the client from season one. Then we also got Dr. Pershing. Ahmed Abtahi. Again, I'm sorry for my pronunciations. But he was in season one, season two. Next up, we got Giancarlo Esposito. If I butchered his last name, I'm sorry. That's how I'm going to say it. This actually was a blind box poll from Tops Authentic. I think it was like 2019, maybe. Or maybe it was 2020. Of the blind box poll. Julia Jones. She made an appearance in one episode. I think it was like episode three, maybe, of season one of Mando. This time of SWAU uh, a few, uh, few years ago. Katie Sackoff as Bo-Katan. This is her live, live debut of Bo-Katan in season two of Mando. This is good. This is... Uh, Coordination with the paint pen color. Blue helmet, blue armor, blue paint pen. Could it have been over the uh, Stormtrooper armor? Yes. Would it have looked better? I don't know. But I like the placement, I like the color. Diana Enosanto in her duel with Ahsoka Tano. This one is nice and bright. You got Ahsoka Saber here. I mean, her weapon of choice was a Beskar uh, Spear. Spear? Not Spear. Spear. Silver. Could have her autograph been silver? Yes. But gold, um, given her royal status, gold, I think, fits her. Next up, we got Dawson. Her first name is, I'm looking at it. Rosero Dawson. 
as live action Ahsoka Tano. She is returning for the Ahsoka series. This one, I love this orange and orange. See what I mean, orange and orange. Now I did say, you know, I tried to match the saber color, but I think orange, you can associate with Ahsoka every day. Orange paint pen for Ahsoka. I think uh, Ashley should sign. Whenever I do get an Ashley autograph, I think orange should be the way to go. Now we're into the sequel trilogy. I think I only have two. We got John Boyega as Finn from The Force Awakens. This was uh, the third Topps Authentic blind box I got. Actually, I think this was a Topps Authentic uh, UK uh, box. It came with a bunch of, of vintage, well not vintage, but older Topps card packs and it came with two of the uh, two autographs i think the ray park came with this one and it came with two unsigned all that and then kelly mary tran from the rise of sky skywalker this was i bought on ebay again it was probably a tops authentic blind box poll or maybe bought off the site so that wraps it up for the 8x10s, we are 30 minutes into this. We're almost done. We're going to the 11x14s. And starting off, I'll raise this up. But we got Mando. Pedro Pascal in the center. The positioning of this autograph, maybe not the best because of this, the Beskar armor. Silver on silver, not the best. Could have been down here, yes. We'll live with it. But in silver, Pedro Pascal. Brendan Wayne, the gunslinger part of Mando. And then we got Lafayette Crowder, I think is how you say his name. I have it here somewhere. Um, Latif Crowder, I am sorry for that one. But he's up here. He's more of the brute fighting. Brendan is the gunslinging. Pedro is the voice and face. Next up, this one is eventually going to be a quad autograph sign of my 14. So this is from season seven. Let me turn this a little bit. Season seven of the Clone Wars, fight between Maul and Ahsoka. And they brought in the mocap artists so down here we have oh uh, lauren mary kim who did the mocap acting for ahsoka now in my opinion her autograph is not as bold as i would have liked it um so maybe we might start a new one but my thinking is have her the mocap for Ahsoka down here Ray Park down there for Ma you got the voice actors Ashley up here Sam Witwer right here quad signing for Ahsoka versus Darth Maul this one's still up in the air we'll see who's coming to celebration and what we can do because this is a top tops authentic um so can't really get this image from tops anymore really we don't have a a licensed photo company for star wars right now hopefully we get an announcement soon on who's doing it but this one is a work in progress this one is not a work in progress this is bought off of dave prowers it was after he passed away there was a, he has a website not run by him or his family but this was on there got dave prowers who is the body of vader and james earl jones who is of course the voice this is an uh, official pics photograph from 2009. next up daisy ridley got this at 
uh, the Cool Waters production booth at Celebration 2019. I picked this one up and I got Laura Dern right here from The Last Jedi, both of these from The Last Jedi. I think she was 150 and I think Laura Dern was 50. So I just picked them up, you know, got some top loaders there and transported them. Hopefully, e I mean, either of them at Celebration would be awesome. But hopefully you see Daisy. Next up, the big ones. Natalie Portman on Mustafar, Revenge of the Sith. And then this one is not complete yet, but we got Hayden. And eventually we're going to have Ewan McGregor, who will, of course, have blue coordinating red. I know her Anakin's lightsaber at this point is still blue. Dark side red, light side blue. Moving on, the big ones. Harrison Ford. A New Hope, Harrison Ford. We got Empire Strikes Back, Harrison Ford. And then we got The Force Awakens, Harrison Ford. Now, I didn't get The re Return of the Jedi because Tops at this point was still were on and they had the image that I wanted so I was eventually going to get that on Tops the Tops website unfortunately they closed down so if Harrison does do a, another signing hopefully we'll get it then until then I mean look at that bold gold autograph these ones were in I think these are sharpie no they might be paint pen but the placement was exactly where I told them to go. The color was perfect. You can actually see my notes here. Gold, silver, silver. Yeah, it is silver Sharpie. And see, I did put Sharpie for gold. But that's a paint pen. So good thing they knew better. And then this one is going to be a triple sign. We got Katie Stackoff in the center. Need to get D Bradley and Ashley. Now, I think D Bradley I'm gonna have in blue. I got Katie in white and then Ashley in orange. So try to coordinate different autographs with their character. Next up, we got Hayden and Natalie. This is, so this, this signing was the one I had the most issue with, not with um, just that the image. One of my images got lost. Okay, no big deal. This is the one I had to, I didn't have to settle for this one. I could have got a refund, but you know, it's just something I couldn't pass up getting both of them to sign. Cause we don't know if Natalie's gonna sign again. So I got this one, Revenge of the Sith. I was originally going to get the uh, teaser promo image of Hayden and Natalie from episode two. That was red and, you know, that that original poster. I got that in 11 by 14, sent it in. Fortunately, for whatever reason, got lost, uh, mis misplaced, for whatever reason. So we got this one. This one is the second one I sent in. This one, Hayden, Natalie, eventually Ewan will be on here in the same color as Hayden. This is another one. When I emailed them, you know, I hadn't heard anything. Orders were being shipped, and they said everything was shipped out. Well, I didn't get any confirmation. So it started off as both of my images that I sent in were not there. So I was going to get this same image triple signed and settle with this one blah 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 they found this one didn't find the second one so i got this one i sent in back natalie hayden hopefully Ewan is at celebration we'll finish this one off if not do a send in other than that this is the first time i've ever had an issue with uh, swau of course they'll always have my business they're a great company great people um, 
just a little hiccup in this order. Unfortunately, it is it was a Natalie Portman signing order, but they had probably thousands of autographs to take care of. So not too upset with it. Still turned out great. This one, blue and blue. Looks good. It'll look good in the frame one day. And I think that is the last of my one of my 14s. That is it for autographed photos. We just have two more, which I think are top of my collections. Harrison Ford, my favorite. This one. I've had this one since 2017. This issue came out of News Weekly Harrison Ford Edition. It's got his all of his characters, Indy, Han. They got from the Fugitive Blade Runner. I think that's Patriot Game. But his big blue autograph. Beckett Witness. This is from Cool Water signing. So that's a good one. This is my first autograph magazine that I have. It's actually the only one I have. I got the nice top loader that it's in and will one day be hopefully somehow in a frame. And then last but not least, I think this is my favorite piece that I have. Harrison Ford. This is an art print by Drew Baker. We got this at Celebration. It's got the DL44 Blaster on the table, the Falcon table, the iconic table, chess. It's signed by the artist, Harrison Ford, nice, bold, gold. It does look like uh, the paint pen was either running out or he didn't have as much pressure, but nevertheless, I think this is my favorite piece. I do actually have, so the artist, Drew Baker, we met him, um, good guy. When we bought this piece, he actually threw in a same table, same Falcon table, but it's got the iconic Skywalker saber, saber instead of the blaster. So he rolled this print up inside that print, and we put it in the two extra protection for this one. So we get a free print out of it, and... Actually, I would like to have that one signed by Mark, Daisy, Hayden, the three that held the Skywalker uh, lightsaber. So that's that's a that's a to be announced, could be autographed. We'll get to there when we get there. But that is my twenty twenty one and three months review of my autograph collection now i do have some video plans star wars celebration is confirmed may 26th through the 30 30th no 29th 26th to the 29th is star wars celebration four days anaheim california i want to try to vlog or take as much video and make a, a a video of it for the channel um but i also would want to do like a um a plan video when uh talents get announced i have a few photos that you know i, I have that i have had to get signed like right here i got a ian, Mc, uh, ian mcdermott from the rise of skywalker is uh palpatine that's one i'd like to get signed uh, but just go over like what I have that I would like to get signed when they get announced. Like this one, I've had. I got this one for Celebration 2019 for Tamara Morrison to sign. Unfortunately, he had scheduling issues or whatever reason. But like that one, I like to get signed. I like to get a, a jingle signed. Of course, you got to get a boba uh, if he comes. But do a video like that. I like to do a pack with me for celebration or talk about what to pack and all that so i got some video ideas hopefully that'll come up but for now this is going to be the last autograph opening review video until celebration or until after celebration 
So until then, make sure to follow the Instagram at Mr. Star Wars VW. Going to be posting updates there um, for any video updates. If there's any celebration updates that we need to post, we'll do that. Um, if you want to check out SWAU.com, great company. They got a whole bunch of inventory. They have a whole bunch of private signings coming up that you can pre-order. They got actually um, the voice actor for Cad Bane. I'm going to definitely hop on that one. But they have that one out. They have Chris Hemsworth. A bunch of uh, Rebels cast. I know they got Freddie Prince. They got a bunch of Star Trek pre-sales for William Shatner and George Takai. A bunch of inventory. Check them out. You can follow them on Facebook. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, SWAU.com. Um, I think that's everything. I think we covered everything. Thanks for tuning in and sticking around for almost an hour going over this. We'll do it all again in December. But stay tuned to the YouTube channel and the Instagram. And we'll be talking soon. Let me know in the comments. Your favorite piece of mine. Do you have a favorite pre piece that you have? Tag me on Instagram. Let me know in the comments. Um, until then, we'll see you next time.